In this video, I'm going to show you how I take my final edit and do my color grading. Now, I know a lot of people struggle with color grading, so I thought I would show you how I like to do it. And just for example's sake, this is my color grading at the end of my edit. So you can see the drastic difference. Now, you can buy presets, you can buy actions, you can buy all that stuff, or you can learn it yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this group and turn off these items and walk you through it. And I really encourage you to give this a try. So what my first step is, and it looks really cool. Yes, it's a color lookup table. So if you go into your color lookup table, what you're going to do is you're going to see that you have a 3D LUT file here and I chose tension green. So it's at the very, very bottom. And the next one that I'm going to use after this is night from day. So we're going to start with tension green, and then you're going to make sure that you change your blend mode to color. Okay. Now the next one that I did is this one. So if you take a look, it's moonlight. You can also try night from day. So let's give that a go, go right here. And what I'm going to do with night from day is I'm going to change it from screen down to color as well. And why the color blend mode works so well is because it just really helps you dial in the di different colors. And I'm going to adjust my fill. So you can see here, the stronger that it is, the more actual night it begins to look like, right? Because the cooler tones are going to give you more of a nighttime look. So like I said, you can play with the different LUTs night from day and I had moonlight before this is moonlight and you can decide if you want to use the color blend mode or if you want to use a screen blend mode it just depends on what you want if you stick to the color you're gonna have more of a nighttime look so that's that and then I came into my selective color and in my selective color in my blacks I pulled down my blacks a little bit so it was a little darker and I added some blue to it Okay, and I didn't do much in the neutrals. I added a tiny bit of red and I put a plus two of, of yellow. Okay, and my whites are minus four. So that adds a lot of that blue to the whites. And then my next step was to add a levels adjustment, which just brings up those highlights. And all I do is make sure that this little slider here gets as close to the end without blowing out the highlights as I can. Okay, so let's go back to this one because we changed it initially before. So moonlight, let's go back to day from night from day, which is this one. And you can adjust your fill down a little bit. I would just toggle it back and forth and see which looks better to you, which appeals more to your creative juices, shall I say? Yeah, so let's close that. So that's before and that's after. And again, all of this is based on what you like, what you feel is more impactful in your image. Okay, let's look at another image that we're gonna use the same color lookup tables with the color blend mode to do the final color toning. And I just wanted to show you what this image looked like straight out of the camera. And let this be a lesson to you guys that if you have images that you look at and go, mm, I, I just don't like it for whatever reason, then I encourage you to use your imagination and your skill set and convert them into something you would like. So as you can see, the way that this was lit, um, I had a friend of mine, John Hartman, who's a photographer from Wisconsin, holding a continuous light down towards the model, and I made sure that my shutter was very, very dark, okay? And then my final edit of this one ended up looking like this. So if you see what I mean, if you take the time, you can convert something from a meh image to a pretty exceptional one. So let's just take a look at our color tables. I've done all my edits. Um, I've done all of my pre-color fixes. As you can see, the headpiece initially was bright yellow and I had to run this through a 
Topaz Photo AI just to clean up the noise and, and all that other stuff. And this is my final edit. Once again, color table, color lookup. And I converted this to a color blend mode. And this one, as you can see, is the tension green. And I also reduced the opacity down to about 20, 21. Now, this is not the final choice, but here's another one. And this one is unique in that this is the two strip look. And you can see that it completely removed or reduced the yellows down to almost nothing. So now we have a much more sort of cyanish looking result, which is pretty in its own right. And that's still at 100%. Now you could reduce it if you wanted to bring back some of those greens, maybe there. And let's just pull this up so we can see. And then our next color lookup was the film stock. And this one essentially just added a little bit of warmth back to her skin. So you can see here it's very desaturated and this added it back. Opacity at 30, color blend mode. Okay, so you can keep that. You can turn it off if you prefer this more muted one. Let's turn on this one. And this one was horror blue. And same thing, color blend mode, but this one's only at 9%. Let's see what it looks like if we pull it up. So it gets way more cyan, I guess. But yeah, you can drag that down until you get it to a place, maybe 10% where it suits the image more. So that's before and that's after. So I encourage you to give these color lookup tables a try with the color blend mode. You can try other blend modes, but I find that the color blend mode is really the blend mode that works best for color toning these images. Okay, let's look at another one. So what if you don't want to use the color lookup tables? There's a ton of options for color grading. So this is my edit. This, this was my first shoot with Sunny, and you've probably seen a lot of her. I used to shoot her a lot. This was our very, very first ever shoot. This is tweaked in that I've added additional flowers around, and that's pretty much it. And it was actually red initially, so the first thing that I did was I created like a vignette. So all I did was a curves adjustment. If you look here, I just pulled it down and I pulled up the blacks just a little bit to mat them out a smidge. And then I did a color mixer. So if we go into color mixer, you can see I just pulled the reds over this way. And all that did was kind of brighten those reds a bit. And again, color blend mode, opacity about 58. And then I did a selective color. Now, selective color is great for targeting individual colors. You can see that I added 13 for cyan, plus seven for magenta, um, minus one for yellow, so that's more the blues, into the blacks, right? I wanted a little hint of blue in there, and I also pulled up the black so that it matted it out even more. And that one is in normal blend mode, so I don't usually change selective color to color just because it, you can really target the colors individually. So if we just close these and create a group, you can see that's the before and that's the after. So color grading, hugely impactful for your images, guys. I highly suggest that you play around with them and just see what kind of different results you can get.